Hi, my name is Brad and I'm an engineer at TransCanada Pipelines. For about the last 14 years of my career, I've been working in the corrosion engineering industry. My job is to help protect all of our facilities from external corrosion. I'm standing here by a model of one of our compressor station sites and most of the work that I do involves these pipelines which in fact are actually buried outside underground so when you're standing out in the yard you don't see a lot of the work that I do. Yeah, as I'm sure many of you are aware during the smelting process that converts iron ore into steel there's a lot of energy that gets put into the steel and the first thing that it wants to do when you put it into the ground is rust. The processes that we develop and use slow that process down. That's about the simplest way that I can explain what us corrosion engineers do when we are protecting the external sides of the pipe. When iron ore is mined and manufactured and goes through the smelting process, there's a lot of energy that goes into it to create steel. There are a number of different grades and different strengths of steel that we use in our pipelines. Our pipelines range anywhere from two inches in size to up to 48 inches in size and they vary in strengths and sizes, wall thicknesses because of the pressures under which they operate. It carries a lot of energy in it and it is very important that we ensure the integrity of our facilities. In addition to the different types of steel that we use for our pipelines, we also use different types of coatings over top of that. Some of the coatings that were used even 50 years ago were excellent coatings and still have stood the test of time today. Today's coatings that we use are such a good quality and we have, take such care in applying them to the pipeline that we virtually do not need anything else in order to protect our pipeline system. Now that we've manufactured our steel to our specifications and we've put a coating on it, despite our best efforts, when we bury it, it's going to want to corrode. So we use the third tool that we have in our toolbox to help ensure that corrosion control doesn't get out of hand. We use electrochemical processes, and as the name suggests, it is a combination of electricity and chemistry. But we use electrochemical processes whereby we design and install facilities in the ground that we then force to corrode, and by forcing those facilities to corrode, we are able to protect our pipelines and mitigate the amount of corrosion that occurs on them successfully. There are three main reasons why we focus our efforts so hard on ensuring the integrity of TransCanada's facilities. First of all, because we are in the business of gas transmission, that is what we do and therefore that is what we should strive to do 100% of the time, all of the time. Second of all, we have all become much more environmentally aware of the impacts of the industries that we belong to, as well as in our personal lives, most notably in terms of greenhouse gas emissions. And thirdly of all is safety. Safety is a very important aspect of everything that we do on a daily basis. We have a number of operations personnel who operate our facilities in areas such as this. We also have a lot of public and landowners who live close to our facilities. So the integrity work that we do is of utmost importance to ensure the safety of not just the people who work for us, but as well as to the public as a whole. In the world of corrosion control and integrity management, we do everything that we can to prevent failures from occurring because when they do, they are spectacular. The amount of energy that gets contained in the gas flowing through our pipes is so substantial, it can rip a large diameter high strength steel pipeline open like a tin can. As a kid, I very much enjoyed the maths and sciences. I had some teachers who were great instructors who brought a lot of enthusiasm and passion in the teachings that they had. And so it was a natural progression for me to go to college for four years and obtain my mechanical engineering degree. I've been working in the corrosion industry for about 14 years and I work with a team of individuals. Our primary focus is to protect the billions of dollars of infrastructure that TransCanada owns.